Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. This is Season 2, Episode 6 of Build of the Week, a video series that focuses on interesting player-designed Path of Exile character builds. Today's build is a level 87 witch called Ray's QT that we have selected because of a number of cool tricks that it uses. The character deals most of its damage through degeneration and is two of its primary skills linked to traps. The first way this character kills monsters is through a poison arrow trap. Socketed in this bow to gain three additional levels, the poison arrow gem is supported by increased area of effect, concentrated effect, trap, and empower. The empower gem adds two further levels to the skill, raising it to a total of level 25. Although the trap does fire an arrow, the poison gas cloud will clear large groups of monsters by itself. The desecrate skill is also used as an area of effect degeneration skill. Like poison arrow, this has been put on a trap for extra damage, but in this case it also creates corpses. These corpses can be exploded with the detonate dead skill, which provides more focused damage for problem enemies such as bosses and totems that can't be killed by degeneration. Detonate dead is also in a 5 link item, supported by increased area of effect, mana leech, concentrated effect, and fire penetration. Because this build wants all of the degeneration damage passives it can get, it's very likely that traps were chosen to support its skills because the trap passives were very near the degeneration passives on the tree. There are some very powerful trap passive skills used, such as Clever Construction, which prevents your traps being destroyed by stray damage for a few seconds after they're thrown. Aside from the trap and degeneration passives, this character has allocated quite a lot of life and a little mana. Conveniently, the passive skills chosen happen to lie near both the Mind Over Matter and Eldritch Battery keystones. When these two are combined, the player forgoes his energy shield for a large amount of mana that can absorb incoming damage. Iron Reflexes was also chosen to increase survivability options. Because of the immense mana pool and the use of the Clarity Aura, it's easy to run Arctic Armor as a defensive option. The build also uses Grace to create a lot of armor under Iron Reflexes. There are Resistance Aura options available if they're needed. The Vulnerability Curse is used because it's one of the few active ways to improve degeneration damage. The character has some pretty good rare items. They generally focus on life, resistances, and mana for obvious reasons. A nice consequence of this build is that Energy Shield, Armor, and Evasion are all useful in their own ways. The build uses an Onyx Amulet because the attributes result in several saved passive points. The Carcass Jack Unique Armor is really interesting with this build because it adds Evasion that turns into Armor, Energy Shield that turns into Mana, Life, Resistances, and substantial improvements to both the damage and area of effect of Poison Arrow, Desecrate, and Detonate Dead. One way of improving the damage of the character's primary Poison Arrow skill is to push the gem level higher. It's currently level 25, but could be increased to a maximum of level 28 if the Empower Gem were painstakingly leveled up again and both the Poison Arrow and Empower Gems corrupted to the lucky outcome of one additional level each. This is a very expensive upgrade path that is only really possible in the standard league. This build is surprisingly powerful and was a lot of fun to play. The character's creator has posted a build guide which is linked in the description of this video. If you'd like to submit your own build, please post it in the appropriate class forum on pathofexile.com. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in future Build of the Week episodes. See you next time.